on the stump, Senator Ted Cruz channeling Texas history. I shall never surrender or retreat. Likening his fight for the Republican nomination to the most famous battle in the Lone Star State, the siege at the Alamo. When Santa Ana demanded of the Texians as Gonzalez, hand over your guns and hand over the cannon, how did we respond? Come and take it! Texas is a must win for Cruz. With 155 delegates up for grabs, it's the biggest prize among the 11 Republican contests next Tuesday. If Cruz wants to remain a credible candidate and halt Donald Trump's momentum, he needs a big victory here. I think he feels that um, this may be um, his last stand. Rice University pollster and political analyst Bob Stein says not only must Cruz win the primary, he also has to sweep every precinct in the state. And for Ted Cruz as the uh, hometown favorite, as it were, um, he would have to win 50% of the vote in each of the 36 congressional districts in the state. And Cruz is spelling that out to his supporters. Texas has alone almost 15% of the delegates you need to be the Republican nominee. Texas is home to almost 27 million people in three of the largest cities in the country. Cruz counts Houston as the heart of his support. And if you compare the backgrounds and you compare the records of all the candidates, Ted Cruz is the only one who has a record of fighting for liberty and freedom. Oil and technology are big in Texas. It has the longest continuous border with Mexico. Anxieties about the economy and immigration aren't lost on Cruz's closest competitor. And then we'll talk about our borders, which we will build the wall, and it will be able to, it will be a great wall. Trump is the wild card in Texas. I'm kind of leaning toward Trump because of the circus, and I enjoy the circus on TV. And some are also giving Senator Marco Rubio a look. It's the first year I felt like my vote mattered in a primary, frankly, and, and it's exciting to have that opportunity and that option. Rubio, like Cruz, has sharpened his attacks on Trump. What we are dealing with here, my friends, is a con artist. He is a con artist. The time for the clowns and the acrobats and the dancing bears has passed. Most polls show Cruz with a sizable lead. I believe we are going to do well. And is that better than 50%? I believe we are going to do well. That is going to be up to the voters. Like the Alamo, it's political do or die for the Texas senator. John Moan, Associated Press, Houston.